That's a new day. There's snow on the ground again. It's about 32 degrees. It's supposed to get up to 50 today, but I have things to do this afternoon when it's nice, unfortunately. So if I want to play, I have to do it now. What I've done, hooked up my battery to this mower, which I worked on in the fall and got going. I know the electrics work on it. I have the ignition plugged into the one that I found last week. I still have the brake tied off and I disconnected the spark plug. I don't really want it to start, I just want to see if the starter works. So let's see what we got. Fingers crossed. So I'll be turning the key on this one to see if this one cranks over. That would be a no. And I dug out a spare connecting wire that connects from the cable from the ignition on the handlebar and that end hooks onto the starter that end hooks onto the kill switch swap that out and still nothing and I even yanked off the spring on the brake just to make sure I got maximum travel on that kill switch that didn't do it either and just to show you that the battery does have a charge I plug the cable back into the mower on the right. That's going to squeal, but it will turn over. Might be low, but at least this one does something. One last moment of troubleshooting. I have the battery plugged into this ignition and this ignition running to that starter. Purposes of I want to test the ignition and electrics on this one. I suspect maybe this starter is bad. So let's see. Alright, even with it cold, I dug around in the garage, I found a third ignition cable, I hooked it up to battery and to my good starter, because maybe the ignition cable switch, whatever on this one is no good, so let's see. I've replugged a good cable into the newer mower. So I can't get the starter to do anything and I can't get the ignition that's on it to do anything either. It's very odd. At least I know I have a spare ignition wire if I need it. So, I'll leave this for another day.
a warmer day. A day with more time. Until next time. So here is the Craftsman. All fixed. I found a bag. And we got the electric start working. So I dug around in my spare cables and I found one that I was able to make work. I had to move the switch. It's normally down below. Move it up above. And we're ready to rock and roll now. I did have to buy a new used bale because I broke the old one with all my efforts to use the old cable. It was just too stiff and it made the bale flex too much and it snapped. So there's the replacement. Thank you internet. We'll do a cold start. It's a ready start. Try the key. There's more. Ta-da! I found this one about three days ago. I was coming home from work and a couple blocks away this guy was sitting on the curb. Now, I didn't have time to film what I did to it. But It's a Husqvarna, very similar to the Craftsman. I have a Craftsman bag that fits it, and it is also electric start. This one's a push button. And I think this one's all ready to go. This one just had bad fuel. Let's wake it up. This mower takes this rectangle skinny battery. I have one on order. For the time being, we're going to hotwire it with this spare battery. Similar to the one that's in the Craftsman. I just had it running, so that's why it was a little bit flooded when I started it. But the electrics work on this guy, too. You'll see the side door there. The idiot that owned this, he cut it in half. So I got one of those on order, too. But a battery and the side door is about all that I have invested in this machine. I have a spare charger for it. Can I get a thumbs up? So there are the first two lawnmowers of 2022. Both a really good machine. Electric start, Briggs flathead engines. I have a bag for both of them. They're both front wheel drive. I didn't even have to buy wheels for the Husqvarna, they're fine. I do have my new wheels on the Craftsman. I'm hoping to maybe get 200 bucks a piece I went to the big box stores and I can't believe the price of lawnmowers this year. Even for the junky ones, they're about 200 bucks. So I don't think 250 for each of these. 200 or 250 is too out of line. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.